So I'm sleeping better, but I'm still waking up feeling incredibly fatigued, like I haven't slept well at all. So what's going on here and what can I do about it? Well, first of all, the most simplest thing you can do is just to check in and see if there's anything that could be affecting your sleep quality. Real basic, real simple. If you've got insomnia, you're probably doing this already. But there's something in the brain called a startle response. And what the startle response does is during the night time, Time, it will analyze all the noises that it hears. So it will wake you up briefly, analyze a noise, and then if it's something you need to respond to, you'll wake up fully. If it's not, you'll fall back to sleep again. So a, a fire alarm, someone that you think is uh, trying to break into your house, the brain's going to instantly make you alert and you will wake up. A car driving past your window, for example, is not going to wake you up fully for that. But the problem is, if you're in a very noisy environment, the startle response in your brain is in overdrive and you'll be waking up multiple 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 times throughout the night so even if you think you're sleeping pretty well be aware that a noisy environment can really affect the quality of your sleep so if it's just a something as simple as sticking in some earplugs then yeah please do it not going to help people with insomnia because I'm sure you're doing that already so people with insomnia you've got a 18 that's one eight times more likelihood of having anxiety if you've got insomnia and a nine times more likelihood of having depression and both of these things these can make you feel fatigued so even if you feel you've slept pretty well both of these things are going to affect how you feel the next day and so with these two conditions you can still sleep pretty well and still wake up feeling fatigued. The good news is the longer that you keep working with these behavioural changes that I outline, the more you will see that your depression and anxiety will start to recede as well and so you should start getting more energy back once you progress further down the road with this treatment. So yeah, be honest with yourself. If you've got anxiety, you've got depression, people with insomnia, probably you do, then this could be something that is causing you fatigue because both of these conditions have been proven to, to do that for you. So these are these other two things. Another thing it could be is sleep apnea. I'm going to do an entire video on this, but essentially with sleep apnea, what happens is the airway during sleep will relax. Your struggle then to breathe, the brain will then wake you up during the night time. It'll give you a shot of adrenaline, a shot of cortisol to wake you up. You'll breathe and then you fall back to sleep again and there's different stages of sleep apnea you can have severe you can have moderate you can have mild so even if you've got mild sleep apnea this will certainly be affecting your sleep quality massively massively underdiagnosed sleep apnea and i think it's probably because people think that you need to have a high bmi or if you smoke or you're generally um, other health conditions will cause it. Literally anyone on the planet can have sleep apnea. So if you snore, if you're waking up gasping for breath, this is a good sign that you might have it. Incredibly un underdiagnosed. I'm pretty sure that someone watching this video will have undiagnosed sleep apnea. So if anything that I've said has resonated with you, do get your check self checked out with your GP. But yeah, really those are those three main things poor sleep quality because of the environment, anxiety, depression, and possibly sleep apnea as well. In order to how to fix it, all my other videos do that for you. Reducing your sleep opportunity to improve the quality of your sleep will be incredibly helpful to you. And doing things to reduce the anxiety, the stress, the obsession, the worry around your sleep. But yeah, all covered in my other videos. Hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you on the next one.